What is up, guys? Half Slab Bacon back with another episode of our 1.9 survival tutorial. So, guys, uh, well, we're in the 40s of episodes, and we talked about beating the, the dragon somewhere around 40 to 50. So, what we need to focus on today, and I've been doing a bunch of grinding off camera getting ready for this, is finding a stronghold. How do we find a stronghold? Well, we need Eyes of Ender. How do we get Eyes of Ender? Well, you know, you can kill a ton of Endermen, or you can do trades. So, I've been doing, as I mentioned, a ton of grinding. Tons off camera, lots of AFK time. And most of it has been, ooh, I hear his armor. Most of it has been to work up emeralds and blaze rods. We needed a bunch of blaze rods at the other bases anyways, but we can trade for ender pearls now. And this is new to, uh, we're going to trade one with him and hope he resets. Reset. This is new to 1.9. It used to be the eyes vendor you would get from them. However, now it's the, uh, it's just the straight up ender pearls. So we're actually going to trade up a bunch with him just to get more emeralds. And we're also going to go enderman hunting and show you the, the effective way of doing that without getting your face killed. So the new trade, I believe the old trade was uh, 7 to 11 emeralds for an ender pearl. Crapped out on me again, did ya? Oh, good boy, reset. I like it. And uh, the new one's actually cheaper now that it's ender pearls instead of eyes of ender. It's uh, four to seven, I believe, and we're at six. Which means this guy has a, a crappy ender pearl trade. So we're going to go check the other guys out. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to leave the zombie flesh we have for them. And uh, let's maybe do some paper trading here. For some more ender pearls. I think we're uh, actually going to leave some of those. Where did I put the crafting bench? Here it is. Some of those reeds for paper because I've been enchanting like crazy. Like, I spent a ton of time over at our uh, Blaze Farm just enchanting and AFKing and enchanting and AFKing. So, we need some of these reads for books because, incidentally, I used up a lot of the stuff. Now yeah, we'll just throw this in there for now. Okay, Mr. Librarian, give us some ender er, er, pearls for the, the ender stuff. Thank you, buddy. You're the man. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. What do you mean? Er? That's better. Good boy. Reset for the peoples on the YouTubes. So, 49. Okay, worst case scenario, we could get ourselves 10... Ender pearls with 60 of these bad boys, right? Worst case scenario. Eh. Reset, would you? Atta boy. You're a good boy. Uh huh. Okay, so we got 60. That's good. Um. We also got levels here to burn. So let's go maybe enchant a couple other books. And we're going to need some stuff to go Enderman hunting the safe way. Now, do I have any slabs kicking around here? Seven. Well, I'm sure we'll use them in future. So let's make a few more. There. That takes care of those. 
Um, we're gonna want some extra cobble. This is for sure. And we're gonna want ladders. Now, do we have any ladders pre-made in this world? I do not believe so, people. Not over here, anyways. So... Let's maybe get those up and ready. And the reason we're doing this is we're actually gonna tower so that we can go through a large area and pillar up and just kind of stare at a whole bunch of the Endermen and make them all mad and stuff. Twelve, uh, you know what? Let's just split the stack. And then let's do this because having one spare one will annoy me. Probably end up using these for something anyways. 24? Ah, forget it. We'll make all the things. We'll just make all the... Th we don't have enough now. So we use that for torches maybe? Little extra torch never hurt nobody. Okay, so that's basically all we need for our Enderman hunting setup. But we're also going to trade with the villagers. Just so, you know, I kind of show you guys both sides of the coin. Yes, I killed some cows during my grinding and brought those guys over here. What do we got? Fire... Well, you know what? I'll take a fire protection for. We can do a fire protection for. Give us a good one. Efficiency 3, protection 3. You've got to be joking me. I'll take a protection 3. Watch. Now that I don't have 30 levels... Luck of the sea. Are you kidding me? That better be there when I get back, Mr. Enchanting Table. So yeah, we've got a ton of new books between bases. I did move some around to the other bases. Um, enchanted one of the main things we need, which is an infinity pick. So I made sure we had a bunch of those. Um... Let's take a lead with us, just in case. Oh, we have no fence post. I could have used those sticks for a fence. We'll, we'll just steal one from outside. That's what we'll do, people. We'll just steal one from the garden area. Now, is it night? No, good. Um, bed. Let's take a bed with us. I can't remember if we got one left over at the village or not. So yeah, while this is, ooh, there's more melons. We could use those. We take the melons. Give me your melons. If anything, that'll help us with the trading. How's the wheat? Yes, I put a wheat farm back because, you know, we had like none at either place, guys. And we were getting dangerously low on wheat, so. I did a ton of uh, skelly spawner AFKing too for levels and for bows because we had used them all for dispensers. So I made a bunch of bows so I could do a bunch of bow enchanting and I did end up getting us some infinity. As a matter of fact, I think I got two in a book. So yeah, we got a lot. It's good. It's a thing. Now we just need to get ourselves enough ender pearls to make this fight useful it seems way too quiet over here okay good I was starting to worry that we got a zombie horde while I was AFKing at the zombie thing hi guys how are you doing do, do you show me your ender pearl yet no way okay what if I trade with you a little eh. Six. Well, you're no better than the last guy, dude. What the hell? Where's the other guy? Looks like there should be a torch, like, right up in here. There. What about you? Do you show me your... Six? 
It's supposed to be four to six, and you're all six. You're all a giant ripoff. You heard me. Fine, I'll take some. No, that's it. You all, that's all you get. Here. Give me some... Give me these. To replace the ones you just robbed from me. You jerk. That's right, I called you a jerk. I don't even like you. I don't think we have any more clerics down here. I think those were the only two. We still gotta get a... a a villager from down here, like a farmer, down to the wheat farm. Yeah, all you guys, all you, hanging out up here, not doing anything to contribute to your community. You could be farming. Do you have a better trade? Oh, we just used all the zombie flesh. Okay, I'll come back to you after I kill some stuff. Yes, that's right. After I kill the stuff. Why did I... I'm getting all twisted and turned around here, people. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out into the desert. Because mass enderman hunting is really most efficient out there. Because they tend to spawn pretty well. And just the, the light color of the sand at night makes them easy to spot. Whereas, you know, in other parts of the world, they can be quite... <laughs> Give me your pumpkin goodness. Did I not pick that one up? They can be quite difficult to spot. So, yeah. Let's, uh... I guess we'll just leave this stuff in the chest for now. Just so it's not taking up extra space. We got six there. I believe I'm up to 18. Which is pretty good. We're going to want our lead. And we're going to want a fence post. So let's take that one right there. And let's get our horsey McHorseys. Here, horsey McHorseys. And let's just go for a trip over and get ready before night falls. So yeah, I'm going to do that, guys. And... Well, actually, I guess I should show you setting up our, our thing first, even though it's not complicated. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to build a protecting area that we can battle um, Endermen from underneath without them getting inside and wrecking our faces. And then we're going to build a tall pillar with ladders all the way up so that we can kind of just climb up to the top and look around and catch a bunch of the the villager or villager endermen's faces and get their attention get them all mad at us and group a whole bunch of them together at once and then once that's accomplished then we will go down the ladder and bam 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 smoke them all in the faces with our looting three sword which with all the leveling i added knockback to and yeah, we've, we've got the infinity bows now. The infinity bow is not necessary, guys. You can battle the dragon with just a regular bow and take, you know, 4 million stacks of arrows with you if you would like. As you can see, I did some off-camera sand gathering too. We've really... Ooh, looks like I missed a block. I'll take that. Can't have too much sand. Okay, let's pick a good area here. Not where you're going to fall down. This isn't really the biggest desert, unfortunately. Um, I like to have a flat area. So probably over here I'm thinking is good. We will set our horsies up here. Hey, no, you. this is why I brought the lead. No wandering you. You stay right there. Do as you're told. So, in order to get these guys, we are going to want a two high that we can fit inside. 
And then above that, we're gonna want our little Enderman barrier. Um, this is important. We're gonna wanna go two around because apparently the one high block thing, no worky so well anymore. They can kind of find their way around that. Plus we need space to get down from the ladder anyways. But yeah, we're gonna do this. What we should have done, guys, is probably brought more food. That was really stupid of us not to bring more food. Um, but yeah, it's a thing. I could set the, well, I might set the bed over here just in case we want to use it. Now, the reason we brought the slabs is this lovely little pillar we're making here. We don't want the Enderman to uh, climb on top of it because then they'll, they'll get at us when we get down, right? So we're going to slab her off. And did I not? Now I'm thinking I didn't bring enough slabs. I didn't bring enough slabs. Crap! Did I bring a crafting table? No, yes. Phew! I almost looked like an idiot there. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter which slabs we have. I mean, this does not need to be decorative. It just needs to be functional. So we'll go like so. We'll steal our crafting bench. Boom. And we're going to want to go up pretty high. Because the higher we go, naturally, the more of them we'll see. And the more of them we'll be able to aggro. So... kind of distance does that gives us pretty good yeah maybe a couple blocks higher I'd say that's good of course now I have to wait out the night so yeah it's a thing ouch that hurt um yeah I brought a whack of chicken and stuff too of course would you why is it there stupid stubborn ladder well you know what we don't have a lot of chicken we'll just have to be careful not to get our faces killed and of course we've always got the bucket of water if we need to get them to back off we can just spam them with that which is good so I'm gonna wait out the night here peeps and I'll be back when we have some endermen to slay all right, people, so night is upon us, and as you can see, the baddies are starting to spawn. Now, I forgot to mention you should probably have, like, a full stack of arrows, because you're going to want to take out skeletons and creepers so that when you go down, they're not wrecking your face. See, like, that zombie's tracking us already. And this can be, you know, this is a luck thing. It can be hugely productive. Or you can spend nights and nights and nights doing this and not see any Endermen. So really, I just prefer to kill them caving. Um, it just so happens with the amount of caving that we've done in this season already, I didn't really have enough Ender Pearls. See? Now I'm I'm not seeing any. Is that zombie hang yeah, that zombie's hanging out down down there waiting to wreck our face. Yeah, I see none. So yeah. Fun times, huh? This does work, but as I said, you can spend nights and nights just kind of looking around. We got skeletons out the yin yangs. I think Endermen are actually a slightly rarer spawn now than they used to be because back in the day he used to be able to do this and, and you know you'd see a bunch of them and I'm just seeing like none. Guys we finally got Endermen so let's stare at this guy aggro him and there was one over there he might be out of range but there's one over here too. Yeah, I can't get that guy. He's too far away. Uh, now the only problem is, once we get them aggro, we have to deal with... Um, 
How are they on top of slabs? Okay, that's new. I, I'm not sure how that's happening, guys. But, like I said, you want to have a lot of arrows. We'll just keep shooting. Get them to teleport. We'll deal with the zombies down there. So it's safe to go down. Holy crap, die already all you zombies. We should be good to go down now. Here we go. Now we can take our looting three sword out and smoke these guys in the faces. Come on. Where'd he go? And that was a whole night, guys, and we got like, wow, two ender pearls. I'd rather AFK out of farm. Especially because apparently they can teleport on top of the slabs now, which is kind of a new thing. Are you coming after us? Well, let's go back up to the top, and we'll see if we can see one more before the sun comes up and, and kills our face. No, that's it. So, not exactly productive. At least not as good as it used to be. I used to be able to do this, you know, a couple nights in a row. And get myself, you know, 8 or 10 pearls. I mean, with looting 3, we only got a whopping 2. So, yeah. That, that was great. On a side note, look! Flower Forest. But you guys get the drill. If um, if you don't have villager trading set up and you really want to go find that stronghold so you can build your ender farm, then this is how you do it. Now, I'm not even sure, to be honest with you, how our, an ender farm is going to work out. We are going to do an enderman farm, that's for sure, but the fact that there's additional islands in the end now is probably going to affect the kind of rates we get compared to, you know, 1.8 where there was the one island you could just go 128 blocks out and you were good to go. Well, we got two, so it wasn't a total loss. You guys saw something and that's that's important. We'll just throw these down on our bar, grab ourselves something to eat. Guys, I think I know what happened to all our chickens. I had totally neglected to think about that. Yeah, ocelots are killing our chickens. We'll have to put the chicken farm indoors. Thanks, you jerk. I just put those chickens back. Anyways, while I was over there, I grabbed some sand. That's why it's nighttime, because, you know, sand. Stupid ocelots. Well, I guess that's one way to catch ocelots, though. Set up a chicken farm near near a jungle. That'll attract them. Just hang out and wait for them to come. So yeah, let's uh, let's put our sand away. Uh, ba boom. Cause yeah, we do need we need lots of sand. I go through sand like it's going out of style, peoples. We'll put you back. You're full. Yeah, I still got three chests of cobble here. Holy crap, man. What's with all the cobbles? Let's put our flowers. That's just saplings. Flowers belong up here. Put our flowers away. Um, ladders and stuff I think we can put in tools, I guess. And let's check on our ender pearl. Okay, so we've got you know 24 at this point which is probably enough to find our place in the world and feel warm and fuzzy and special um yeah let's maybe trade up some more oh i left the stuff outside didn't i did i not sleep 
I thought I slept. Guess not. There. Give us this stuff. Oh. We got 30. We're good, people. That should be enough for us to find, uh, find the stronghold. Um, so I think what we're going to do next episode is probably go hunting for a stronghold. Yeah. We're rocking. 30 is good. 30 is good. It's good. It's good. Guys, it's good. Okay. Now, in the old days, you'd be stuck with a bunch of ender pearls, but I'm actually thinking what we'll do is we'll just take a bunch of blaze powder with us and we'll use the ender pearls kind of as needed. Uh, shovel's okay. Those picks should be okay. Yeah. Um, I think we're good at this location. I'm going to, you know, magically teleport my way over to... Uh, our other base because I do have a change I'd like to show you guys before we call it an episode and uh, yeah then I'll be our beast okay guys so part of our prep is gonna be potion brewing before we go we're gonna need a bunch of potions so that's gonna be a thing um and I figure we'll start with the most important potion of all, which is gonna be our regen. So, we're definitely gonna want some regen up in the house. When we go to battle the big, bad Enderman. Cause, you know, he hurts a little, so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll take regen. So let's get those going on Another one I figure we're going to take. We're going to take some golden apples with us. Strength doesn't really apply because we're mostly going to be, you know, shooting the arrows at them. And we're going to take a good power 5 infinity bow for that. Are you done yet? Hurry up. The people are waiting. But, I guess while we're waiting on that, um, one of the changes I wanted to show you guys... Oh, it's done. Okay, so that gives us 45 seconds of regen. Now, we can go regen 2 with glowstone, but I would rather go redstone and extend it to the 2 minutes. That's just me. Um, we'll do some instant health, a whack instant health before we go, which is, you know just the golden melons so no biggie I'm not gonna bother doing that at this very second there we got our regen uh, like I said strength doesn't really apply but we'll take regen we will take um, instant health and we've got a bunch of gold apples right so we'll take a bunch of gold apples with us too when we actually go to battle the dragon but the other thing I wanted to take care of was showing you guys this because I did make a change. Notice the delay now is a little bit longer. Yeah, I didn't like the paintings. Um, where is it? Yeah, there it is. So I added more repeaters um, just to extend the delay. So we got one, two, three, four now all on four ticks. So where that's... 16 yeah 16 ticks so not quite a second but pretty close uh one tick is 20th of a second now this one here is very important because without that one there um and i didn't bring any redstone so i can't even show you can i no i can't uh but without this one here we would get a, a pulse because it would be burning that torch on and off right and yes, I expanded this a little, just in some off camera time, just to make it a little more roomy. And you know, we had to have our our thing down here. I made up 30 blaze powder to take with us with our 30 pearls. I figure that should cover us. And like I said, off camera, I did a whole whack of enchanting. And there, we have a dragon slayer. 
I have some other infinity bows there, but you can see I just punch two, power five, infinity, and flame. I beefed that one up by combining a whole whack of bows, so we're good to go and smash him in the face. And you know, we've got our good diamond armor, but uh, we're not going to use that. Not first trip down anyways. We'll use it eventually, just not first trip down. Reason being, I like living. I like going into stuff like that prepared. So, what we're actually going to do... See, that's just much more time. It's much better. I like it. What we're actually going to do, guys, I think, is... Uh, we're going to go down first with some crappy stuff just in preparation. And then, you know, we'll know what we're getting into and we don't go down with all our potions and our good diamond gear and get killed in the face right away. Right, right puppies? Right puppies. So, uh, yeah. I think that's it for today. It was kind of more of a mellow episode, but a lot of work went into it AFK and guys. A lot of work. Yeah, I transferred chickens, cows, all the things, people. All the things got transferred between the bases while I was at it. Oh, and we need to replace our snowmen because I killed them. <laughs> so, that's basically it. That's uh, getting ender pearls, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode when we shall venture off with our bed and our pearls and go and find the stronghold. See you then, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe. And get ready for an adventure in the next 1.9 survival tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.